Hi everyone, uh, this is Dr. Maria Krenak here, and I just finished um, some very, very powerful uh, miracle meetings in California that were just off the hook. Um, all praise and honor to God and the power of the Holy Spirit. Um, we just love each and every one of you so much, and I just wanted to share some things that God has been speaking to me about that I believe will bless you. Um, and, you know, sometimes our theology is challenged in God, and that's a good thing for your theology to be challenged, for us to seek the Word of God and the Holy Spirit for answers. And, you know, we see a lot, a lot of physical miracles uh, and healings in our meetings. That's the way God uses our ministry, you know, and God will use another ministry a different way in the prophetic and um, deliverance. And of course, we have a lot of deliverance in our ministry as well. But I'm just saying that God will lead a ministry a certain direction. Um, and it's up to that ministry to follow the things of the Holy Spirit to have uh, those Holy Spirit manifestations. So if I tried to do something where the Holy Spirit wasn't leading me to do, then that's not going to be very successful for our ministry. And we want to see God's manifestation of his goodness in the people of God's lives. So we follow the things of the Holy Spirit where he's leading us. And so I want to talk to you about something today that I, I want to be very honest with you, that I am not an expert in what I'm about to share with you. What I want to share with you today is what God is speaking to me about. And I am in no way in the natural realm an expert in this particular area. And so many of you that are probably watching this video know much more in the natural and maybe even the spiritual realm than I do. So all I want to do today is just share what God is showing me in some things concerning um, being healed mentally. Again, we see a ton, a ton of miracles physically and we see a lot of people get set free of depression and anxiety and suicide because we have a mission in God uh, to expose the spirit of suicide, especially in the state of Alaska. Um, but I, I want to go further uh, today uh, beyond that um, into the realm of mental illness and seeing God heal that because we want to see people healed of, of autism. We want to see people healed of bipolar. We want to see um, some of these things that, um, you know, are such strongholds in some people's lives. We want to see those broken off and, and God's healing for them. Amen. And so I don't know where else to start except for the word of God. Amen. So, you know, I, I don't think we can go wrong starting with the word of God, but in Isaiah 53, 4, a very familiar passage, um, it says, surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. And this is the account of uh, the price that Jesus Christ paid for on the cross for us with his blood. And we were not cheap. We were expensive. We were all paid for in blood. But this particular verse, um, and I, I'm assuming that most of you know what this verse means, but for those that might be out there that don't, um, surely he has born. The word born means to take away. And, and then that word griefs, you would think means, uh, you know, in the natural, you would think that would mean like grieving for somebody that passed away or sorrowful. But that word griefs actually uh, means sickness and disease. And so the word born means to take away. So really we could read this, surely he has taken away uh, our sickness and diseases. And then that second line, and carry our sorrows. And that word carry means to, to bear a load, right? So if we go, if we take a load to the dump, we don't uh, just, right? We don't just take half of it to the dump. We load up our truck and we dump all of it at the dump and we leave it there to be buried for eternity. Um, so that's what God's talking about when he says carried our sorrows. But again, that word sorrows, um, you know, you might, you are, are, are actually our subconscious when we hear the word sorrows, we want to think sadness. And so that doesn't mean that though, when you study the translation out, um, sorrows means, uh, physical and mental pain. So we know by God's word that all sickness and disease is paid for on the cross. And we know by God's word that 
all physical and mental pain is paid for at the cross. So if all physical and mental pain is paid for at the cross, then surely there is healing for mental Ill illness. <clears throat> and so um, I wanted to talk to you about this because uh, I'm now just personally putting the pieces together myself. But again, I, I want to just re restate that I believe that many of you have understanding of what I'm going to share with you much more than I do. But I want to just share with you what God is showing me because I believe that it's going to help some people. And I believe that you're going to get an agreement with our ministry to see these miracles that God is about to do. But um, the Lord spoke to me. Uh, it was before a, uh, uh, a miracle meeting here in Alaska. Um, and again, we just returned from California. We just had powerful miracles. We saw God healing all kinds of things, including uh, MS, including uh, multiple sclerosis. So, uh, I mean, there just isn't anything that God can't heal. Amen. And, you know, we've seen God heal cancer, all kinds of terminal diseases. And, you know, I was, it was before a miracle meeting here in Alaska and God spoke to me, you know, he speaks to me before meetings. He will show me what he's going to heal. For example, I'll see in the spirit realm, you know, I might see a kidney and I know that God's going to heal kidneys that night. But this particular night, um, I saw in the spirit a brain. Um, and so, you know, my immediately thinking was, Lord, what, what are you, are you going to heal somebody's head? You know, um, does somebody have a head injury? Um, you know, because a lot of the miracles we see are physical. Um, again, we do see a lot of people getting set free of depression and suicide, which is, which is, um, can be mental, but most of the time depression and suicide is spiritual. And so, um, it's just a matter of casting that, that, uh, demonic en entity off them, um, but the Lord said, he said to me, I'm going to heal brains tonight. And I said to the Lord, what depression? And he just, he, you know, head injury. What exactly are we talking about here, Lord? And he just repeated himself. He said, I'm going to heal brains tonight. And so I was obedient during the gathering when I felt the leading of the Holy Spirit. You know, I just re repeated what God told me. <laughs> you can't go wrong repeating what God told you. And I, and I, I said, hey, God tonight is going to heal brains. He's going to heal brains in this gathering tonight. And if you need a miracle in your brain, I want you to come forward. Well, you know, I was expecting maybe one or maybe two people to come forward on this. O over half the people in the congregation responded to this word. And I was so shocked that I went down the line to ask them, now you need a physical healing in your brain. I'm not talking about a, a, a mental thing or I'm talking about a physical thing. You know, and every person said, yeah, I need a physical miracle in my brain. There's people there from strokes uh, that had had strokes. And, you know, they um, they were slurring their words, having a hard time with their speech, those types of things. Um, and uh, there was one lady, she felt like, uh, she said, she said, Dr. Marie, it felt like somebody has taken a screwdriver in the back of my head and I could feel the hole was about this big, she said, um, in my head. And she said, I felt that hole just enclosed and, you know, she got totally healed. All the pain was gone. Hallelujah. You know, and so anyways, but there was all kinds of brain miracles that needed to happen that night. And praise God for every miracle he did in people's brains. Um, but uh, as I moved forward in, in, in the things of ministry, um, you know, I had, had run into a, uh, uh, a very uh, uh, special couple that are special to our ministry. Um, and they were having issues with their daughter that had been... Um, uh, she had been badly abused and I'm not going to share her name or anything like that because we want to protect and give them privacy. But, um, she had been badly, badly, uh, abused sexually. And, um, uh, um, she was having some really just se severe behavioral issues because of the abuse. And this beautiful little girl's just 10 years old and the, the, the parents bless their hearts are at the end of their rope. And they're like, Dr. Maria, we're, we don't know what else to do because we're in fear for our own lives in our own home and for our own other children. We don't want them to get hurt by, you know, this child that's expressing or acting out this particular way. And we're, we're concerned that we're going to have to commit her permanently. She's, you know, an adopted child and we're, we're concerned we're going to have to commit her permanently into a, like a psych ward because we just don't know what else to do. We're at the end of our rope. And so, you know, I, I, uh, 
He said, well, let's pray and get the mind of God. And, and I had uh, spoken to, um, I said, let me call one of my friends who, who's a, a spirit-filled um, licensed therapist and um, kind of get her perspective on this. And, you know, I talked to her and I, I explained the situation and I said, you know, you know, will therapy help this young child because she's been in therapy and it doesn't seem like anything's working. And she said, no, Maria, therapy's not going to help this little girl. No amount of therapy is going to help this little girl. It's a physical brain injury. And that just hit something in me. All of a sudden, I understood that this trauma that this young girl had been dealing with, that she had had a brain injury, and we are always going after the spiritual side of things, and we're going after the, the behavioral side of things instead of believing God for a healing in her brain. And so what God has shown me over these last few weeks is that these things that have traumatized people, whether it's sexual abuse, whether it's a violent act, whether it's a car accident, whether it's somebody that has come back from war, right? We, we hear the, the PTSD, right? And all these um, traumatic things that happen in people's lives can damage physically the brain. And so we've been going after the behavior um, and therapy. Uh, uh, my, my licensed therapist friend, she said the, the secular community is at the place where they're, they're about to say therapy is not a acceptable form of treatment because the trauma has damaged the brain. And so now we're understanding that we need to put our faith on for God to heal the physical brain so that the person can be healed of the trauma. As long as they stay in the cycles of therapy, uh, trying to make things work or to break out of this, um, every time it, it's not working because every time there's a, that trigger for that, um, that, that trauma, then they have that automatic response of behavior that is a negative behavior that that people label as mental illness. Um, and, and I know that there's mental illness that is demonic and they just need the devil cast out of them. Trust me, you're, you're, you're pre preaching to the choir here. Now I, I get that, but I'm talking about now where people, there's just so many people that have had a traumatic experience in their life and that traumatic experience damaged physically their brain. So now when that part uh, of the brain is triggered, there is that response that is that they can't control it's automatic and so and all they need is a physical healing in the brain i want to see autism healed i want to see bipolar healed i want to see some of these mental illnesses that seems like the secular community can get nowhere with and yeah and meds help a bit or maybe they help a lot but we know that our god the bigness of God can heal that physical brain where they don't need meds anymore. And that's what my heart would like to see. I'd like to see people getting healed of that so that they can get off the meds and they can move forward in their healing and get totally, completely healed of those traumas. And we live in a state of Alaska where the trauma is so great here. And so I want you to be in agreement with me as we move forward in this. God spoke to me I am going to heal brains. And now I understand what he's saying. He's saying, Maria, I'm going to heal their brains so that they can be healed of the trauma. And so those that have um, had this trauma and it's damaged their physical brain, we are already seeing results in this area with this little uh, beautiful 10-year-old girl. We were able to, to put our faith on. We were able to, to, to have the parents prepare her for a miracle, to believe God, to heal her brain so that she could be healed of the trauma. We've already seen just a tremendous amount of results in this young girl's, 10-year-old girl's life completely turned around. And so we are not just seeing this with her, but we are seeing this in other people's lives to being healed of trauma. And it's and, and the anointing is zeroing in on the brain. And so I'm excited about this because I'm excited to see more and more and more and more people healed of trauma. And so it's just so heartbreaking to see people going in these cycles 
uh, of you know uh, where they feel like they're doing okay in therapy and okay with the medications, but once that trigger point gets gets uh, hit in in their brain, then then there's they, they feel like they failed again. Like man, I was doing so good, and now I went back ten steps, you know, or a hundred steps, and yet all they need is Jesus to touch and heal their physical brain. And uh, so surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. He's carried all our physical and mental pain. There is healing for the mental side of things, not just physical. And um, keep us in prayer. We're going to be doing a healing meeting uh, this June 5th right here in, in our new building um, at the Lifeline Outreach Center. I'm going to put that address up on the screen for you. If you're anywhere in the Anchorage area, you're going to want to come out June 5th, 2021. I have to say 2021 because if you're watching this video in 2022 or later down the road, uh, you know, the meeting is June 5th, 2021. Hallelujah. But you're invited to come out. And if you're struggling with trauma in your life um, of any sort, um, I want to encourage you to come out and get under this anointing. I believe that God is going to heal your brain if you need that. And I believe that if you need a physical healing in your body, you know, uh, God will do that as well. Uh, last time we did a night of healing in Anchorage and it was just off the hook. People's spines were straightening out. People were leaving their canes. Hallelujah. And people were getting all kinds of physical miracles. God is, he is not slack towards you. He will heal your body and he will heal your uh, mental, uh, 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 um, he will heal your mental uh What's the word I'm even looking for? He will your well-being. Hallelujah. He will heal your mental well-being. Because your mental is not your body, but it's inside your body. Amen. So God can do it all. Spiritually, physically, mentally. There isn't anything that God can't heal. I love each and every one of you. Check our website out for where we're going to be. Check our resources out um, that can help you. We've got resources that will help you with your miracle. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, I'm signing off. Thank you for taking the time to listen. And those of you I want that are partnering with our ministry on a monthly basis, thank you so much. Man, I really appreciate you doing that. That helps us to continue to minister to the people of Alaska and beyond. We also minister in the lower 48 reservations. Um, and we're looking to, to uh, get down there to the lower, lower 48 reservations, Fort Mojave. We really want to come see you. Um, and of course, White River, we want to come see the Apache Nation. And uh, we're going to be getting down there to Yuma, Arizona. And uh, hopefully we'll come see you, Blythe. We're, we're believing for those dates to work out. Blythe, California. Um, we love each and every one of you. And of course, Parker. We're, we don't want to forget Parker. Parker, Arizona with the Colorado Indian Tribe. We love you so very much. And uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you guys soon. If you're not a monthly partner with our ministry, I want to encourage you to ask the Lord about that. Any gift is so appreciated, whether it's $5, $10, doesn't matter the amount. Um, every bit helps us to continue to be a blessing. We're feeding the homeless here in, in Anchorage, and we're doing that every month as well. And uh, we have some exciting things on the horizon, so, so um, stay on our Facebook and stay in touch to see some of these exciting things that are going to be coming your way. God bless you. Um, and send us your prayer request. We love you very much.